Welcome back, everybody. It is a very important day here in Connecticut and all around the world, for that matter. Today is International Women's Day. And Chief Capital Reporter Susan Raff introduces us to women in our state who have been recognized for important achievements. We won't have family-friendly policies unless we have uh, more female leaders. And Connecticut's lieutenant governor says a priority this year is helping more women get elected and the importance of the paid leave program, which allows women to take off to care for loved ones. Come on, girls, let's make ourselves heard. Congresswoman Rosa today. DeLauro is we'll a member of the Connecticut Tavern. Women's Hall of you Fame, the... where women are recognized for their achievements. Kika Matos is being honored this year for her work in social justice. I fight for those who feel uh, discriminated against in this society. Carolyn Mazur was inducted for research in women's health. Um, women are also more likely to die following a heart attack. There are a lot of reasons across many different areas of medicine where we need to up our game. Connecticut has a rich history of women who fought for equal rights. Many suffragists who are buried in this Hartford Cemetery Notable people like Katherine Hepper and her mother, a pioneer who fought for women's rights and Planned Parenthood issues. Adrian Bonds Wallace worked right here at WFSB, also a Hall of Famer. She was the first African-American television anchor in New England. The Connecticut Hall of Fame has a message for our youth. They should know about the people who aren't with us anymore, and they should know about, you know, um, current leaders you know, that are that are charging the way that have been working for a really, really long time. The Connecticut Women's Hall of Fame says these women have paved the way for all of us. And it's important that each generation take notice and not take any of it for granted. Susan Raff, Channel 3 Eyewitness News.